Hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAD, MAT and other management exams. This session again we have an interesting question from the topic progressions and that too precisely if I want to say you have a problem based on geometric progression here with us. So this problem is what we are going to solve. And this question, if you see, this is going to be a very frequent question. You can see this question in many exams. And also this question you can see right from your school days, you would have seen this question. Such a very popular question is what uh, is with us. Now, this question is what we are going to solve it. Let's directly get into the question. So our question here is, what is the sum up to n terms of this given series? So we have a series given here. Our series is 7 plus 77 plus 777 plus 7777 and so on up to n terms we are asked to find what is the sum so we have a very nice sum given here so it is all constructed with the digits 7 only and let us now think what approach we can handle here in order to solve this problem okay fine yes and before that we'll make sure about what are the basic formulas we have to use here in order to solve the problem for which we should be very sure with one important GP formula that is geometric progression formula in order to find the sum up to n terms. So let us recall the formula in order to solve this problem. So I'm going to write the formula here itself in any GP in a GP always sum up to n terms that is it is represented by the notation SN. This SN will be equal to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. So this is the formula we will be using where here this a is going to be the first term of the geometric progression. r stands for the common ratio and this n is going to be the terms, number of terms up to which we are going to find the sum of the series. Okay, And this particular formula we will be using when our r value is more than 1 that is when r is greater than 1 we are supposed to use this formula okay so now with the use of this formula is what we are going to solve this problem so i've given that intro here itself now we will get into the formula i mean get into the problem yes so here we'll first start with the series what series is given to us so our series here is 7 plus 77 and so on it is going like this right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my sum as s Okay, so S is equal to 7 plus 77 plus 777 plus 7777 and so on. I'm going to write like this. I'm going to take this sum to be capital S. Fine. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is since I have all the digits to be 7, let me take that 7 as a common factor outside. Okay. So if I try to do that, I will be getting 7 as a common outside if I'm going to take what I will have inside is I will have 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus 1111 and so on. This is what I will be having. Is it or not? Why? Because I am going to remove 7 only outside. So no other digits will get disturbed. All the things I will have inside will be only digits with 1. That's it. Okay. So this is how I will be having if I take 7 to be a common factor outside and this is this series is going up to how many terms up to n terms this is given in the question itself up to n terms is what we are supposed to find the sum okay in that case I'm going to take up to n terms okay so for clarity let me write it here itself up to n terms okay so this is going like this let me close the bracket here and what next I'm going to do is I am going to multiply by 9 inside okay I'm going to multiply by 9 inside you may wonder why I'm doing this I have a reason for that so let us just note it I'm going to do it 7 into I'm just going to multiply all these numbers inside with 9 so that what will happen here is now these will turn out to be 9 plus 99 plus 999 plus 9999 and so on and still it will be up to n terms okay always it is going to be up to n terms only so this will become like this but suddenly why I am going doing this and also you may wonder you may have a little doubt here what doubt here is like I have multiplied by 9 but where I am going to tackle it I am going to manage it I am going to do a very simple step here I am going to do divided by 9 here I hope now it is clear to you so for the reason I have multiplied by 9 I am dividing by 9 also commonly okay that's why I am putting it outside the bracket so 7 by 9 times of I am getting a series now 
all the digits inside what I see are all with only nines. Clear with this? So first of all, we started with all sevens, but now we ended up with a series which contains all nines. Okay. Now here is where you may wonder, as I told earlier, you may wonder why I'm doing this just for a comfortability, for a convenience sake only, I'm doing this. Now you will realize the reason why I'm doing this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is seven by nine into, I'm going to write the series very comfortably like this. Okay. So first of all, this nine is there, right? This is the first term, right? This nine, I'm going to write it as 10 minus one, right? Yes. Nine is 10 minus one plus this 99, I'm going to write it as 100 minus 1 plus this 9, 999, I'll write it as 1000 minus 1. Then this one, this 9999, 9999, I will be writing it as 10,000 minus 1. So this goes like this and so on up to n terms. Okay, let me not writing, uh, keep writing it. So up to n terms, it is understood. So now if you see, I have 10 minus 1, 100 minus 1, 1000 minus 1, everything minus 1. Okay. Now all these are going to, going to be powers of 10 only. Is it or not? So 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. If you see all these numbers, they are all going to be powers of 10. And that too, if you see, if you clamp those terms alone, you will be getting a geometric progression. Okay. So now you may just realize the application of this formula, how we are going to apply it here. Just to observe a geometric progression here i'm doing this process okay yeah fine now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to segregate the terms okay how am i going to segregate the terms if you ask it's going to be very simple i will take the powers of 10 all these first numbers as one set and all the ones i will collect and put it as the other set okay so first bracket i will open what i'm going to do is 10 plus this 100 okay this 100 i'm going to write as 10 square then what i'm going to do is this thousand i will write as 10 cube there's this uh, 10,000 I will write as 10 power 4 and so on. This will go up to n terms minus what I will have there. I'm going to take minus as a common factor outside and inside which I will have all the rest other ones. 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on. This will also be up to n terms. Okay. Now this is going to be my process. Now the things are going to be damn easy now. So 7 by 9 by into what I will have inside is now see here 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 power 4 this is clearly nothing but a geometric progression is it or not so here this 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus 10 power 4 is going to be geometric progression why because you start with a number and you multiply with a constant number in order to get the next successive terms is it or not because you have 10 10 into 10 is giving this 10 square 10 square into 10 will give this 10 cube 10 cube into 10 will give this 10 power 4 and so on it is going like this is it or not so in that case clearly this series is a gp only geometric progression only and here what is the first term our first term is what we write it as a right our first term is 10 so for uh, just for identity i will write it here okay so a value is 10 and next what about uh, r value r value is a common ratio common ratio is nothing but with what number are we multiplying that is called common ratio so common ratio is also 10 so i'm writing 10 here and n what about how many terms how many terms are here it is very clear there are n terms so n is n only is it or not okay so now i can very well use this sn formula okay this sn formula in order to find this sum up to n terms so let me use this formula here so that what i will get is i will get 10 into uh, a is 10 right so 10 into uh, r power n again it is going to be 10 power n minus 1 by denominator i will have r minus 1 so once again r is 10 only so 10 minus 1 that becomes 9 okay so minus what about this second series here i have got only once all the numbers are going to be 1 1 1 and so on so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and so on up to n terms that means the thing is very simple i have got n ones here so what is going to be n ones n ones are going to be n simply n only very simple okay fine so now all i'm going to do is i'm going to simplify this given expression that's it okay so if i try to do that i will have 7 by 9 i let let it be as usual so what next i can do here is i can just bring uh, it as a common lcm right i can just take a, a lcm here and adjust this expression so that if i get uh, I will have 10 into 10 power n minus 1. Then I can multiply this 9 with this n so that I will get minus 9n above whole divided by 9. Okay. Yes. Fine. Okay. Done. And next, what next I can do here is I can just do 7 
anyways i have brought this line as a common denominator right this 9 i can multiply with this nine, with this 9 okay so 9 9 sir will become 81 so now i will have the numerator part as let me multiply this 10 also inside so that if i multiply it i will be getting uh, 10 into 10 power n so it will become 10 power n plus 1 because with 10 power n you are multiplying one more 10 so this is like 10 power 1 only so 10 power n into 10 power 1 will become 10 power n plus 1 and 10 into 1 will be minus 10 and there's one more minus 9 n okay so finally this expression is what is going to be the grand answer for this series okay so i hope the steps are clear to you so finally we are getting the answer to be 7 by 81 of 10 power n plus 1 minus 10 minus 9 n this is going to be the answer and let us search for the answer in the options so we have our exact the answer our answer is there exactly lying there at option b here is it or not so option b we have our exact answer right we can even check it 7 by 81 10 power n plus 1 minus 10 minus 9 yeah we have got our answer exactly at option b so answer to this question is going to be option b is the answer okay yes fine yeah i hope the steps we used to solve this problem are very clear to you and if at all any doubts you have got please comment it in the comment box you're most welcome to do that and when i see i will see to rectify your doubts okay yes fine and if you feel this problem to be useful this video to be useful please give a like and also share to your friends who are preparing for any management exams like this soon we'll catch up in the next video as early as possible see you soon there thank you so much